Okay, hello dear student, how are you? Um, today uh, we will complete our journey in composition three. Um, last lecture we talked about a narrative type of essay. You, re you remember this type? Can anyone tell us what do we mean by narrative essay? Yes, Mrs. Yes, Riaz, go ahead. Narrative essay like uh, like as uh, storytelling. Telling. Very good. It is and uh, it is mixed between narrative essay. And, mm -hmm. and and it is uh, mixed between narrative essay and uh, descriptive essay. Um. Sometimes, for example, if you want to describe something. In a narrative essay, so uh, it can be mixed. It can be mixing between like a narrative and descriptive. Uh, actually, um, we have many uh, topics of an essay when we want to write an essay. Uh, some topics can be like be mix um, of two or three types of an essay. It is something normal to have. For example, sometimes I will, uh, for example, talk about a narrative essay but in, at the same time it is descriptive okay so it happens no problem yeah it's something normal okay so a descriptive or narrative essay it is when you tell the reader a story okay so it's like short story and you are as a writer you are storyteller okay Storyteller, like al hakawati you, you need to like uh, to tell a story to the reader, okay? So, for example, as we uh, had last lecture, some examples, like titles as an example. For example, when you want to tell us about your journey or your trip that you had in the past, for example, you need to tell us, for example, uh, your first day at university, how you how did you learn to swim how did you learn to drive a car okay all of these are like storytelling because or story short story okay or storytelling as narrative essay because you want to share with us your own experience concerning the topic that you want to talk about okay So the purpose or the goal of this um, type is to inform us or to tell us a story, okay? Uh, let me share the screen. I think last lecture we, uh, we read the first day at university, right? We read this, this essay. Let me share the screen. Uh, we we read um, this essay or not? My first day at university. Did we yes, read, yes, it? read it? Okay, thank you. Yes. What about my first trip? Uh, we didn't read it. We didn't read it. Okay, let's do it now. Yes, please. Who can read? Who can read the yes, introduction? Yes, yes, please. Go ahead. My first trip. I still remember the first trip to the beach that I took with my close friends. Two years ago, my friends and I went to uh, Tamarindo Beach to rest and enjoy our vacation together. Okay, we had been planning... Thank you. Let, let me uh, first talk about a little bit about uh, the introduction or before introduction. I want you to uh, remind you 
of the rules when I want to uh, write a title, okay? Uh, we talked about uh, rules of title, I think, before, and uh, we, we talked when do we need to capitalize the letters in the title? Did we? Did we talk about before or not? Yes, we talked about it. Okay, so um, in the very beginning, we need to capitalize the initial, the initial, it means like first, initial letters of the words in the title, especially if they are noun, adjective, verb, and adverb. Okay, if we have those four uh, parts of speech, so we need uh, to capitalize the initial letter, initial letter like first letter of them. Okay, this is like the general rule. And uh, for example, the articles uh, like a uh, and the pronouns like uh, my, me, your, his, him, etc. A proposition like of, from, in, at, to, um, all of these, we don't need to capitalize the initial letter of them, except if they come as a first or as the first word in the title, okay? If those proposition, articles, pronouns, um, uh, determiners, for example, if they, those come, as uh, the first word in the title, so we need to capitalize the initial letter of them. For example, here we have my, which is a pronoun, okay? So because it comes in the beginning of the title or as the first word of the title, so we need to capitalize the initial letter, okay? For example, if I, if I say uh, in my, uh, or at first trip, for example, at, so we need to capitalize a because it comes in the beginning of the title. Okay, first and the trip. Don't forget, please. Don't forget to uh, to capitalize um, the words that needed uh, or the initial letters of the word that needed to be capitalized because this is important as the rules of uh, capitalization in the title. Okay, so don't forget these rules. Um, I still remember the first trip to the beach that I took with my close friends. When I um, say close as an adjective, okay, so it is pronounced as se. Okay, as an adjective, it's pronounced se, not ze. Close as a verb, like yughlik, close the door, for example. Okay, but as an adjective, uh, it's pronounced as se. Close, close friend, it means like my favorite, clo my favorite friend, for example. Close friends, it means like asdiqa muqarrabin. So it's close, not close. Two years ago, comma, don't forget like punctuation marks because in the exam, um, they hold um, like marks, for example, the grammar, the uh, grammar structure, the punctuation marks, they are important in writing uh, the essay. To, so two years ago, comma, my friends and I went to Tamarindo Beach to rest and enjoy our vacation together. Okay, this is an introduction. And don't forget to indent each paragraph. You remember the word indent or indentation as a noun? What does it mean indentation? Or what does it mean when I say I need to indent like I D E N T to indent each paragraph. What does it mean? 
it's a, a space in the beginning of the first sentence in the paragraph. Okay, so very good. It's the space that we need to have in the beginning of each paragraph. For example, in the beginning of introduction, in the beginning of body paragraphs, and in the beginning of the conclusion. So in each paragraph, we need to have like indentation or space, which is about five liter space. Okay, so if you, for example, took, take a look at this essay, you will know just by like by by a look at uh, this essay, you will know that we have one body or one paragraph, sorry, one paragraph, one, one. Like we have four, four paragraphs in this essay. How can I know that I have four paragraphs uh, without reading each paragraph? Because I have indentation. So here I have indentation, here I have indentation before we, before then, and before after. Okay, so by only one look, I can know how many paragraphs I have in the essay. Just. Okay, hello again. Let me share the screen. Can you see my screen? <clears throat> okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, so before the cut off, you're talking about the indentation and importance of having indentation in the beginning of each paragraph because it is important to know how many paragraphs do we have in the essay. So uh, if we leave like space in, in each, in the beginning of each paragraph, so we can easily know the numbers of, or number of paragraphs. Okay, let's read uh, paragraph number one or uh, paragraph number two, and it is one in the body, the first one in the body. Yes, please, who can read? Yes, Mrs. Yes, go ahead. We had been planning planning this trip for two weeks. During these two weeks, we made hotel reservation 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 reservation. reservation. What the meaning of reservation? When you make like uh, yes, very good. When you make like reservation in the restaurant or in the hotel, so you you, you make like arrangement that you you uh, want for example to keep this place for you for a particular time yes, yes. we made the hotel reservation uh, reservation and bought food uh, reservation and it's the reservation the reservation and bought food and beverage for the trip finally on friday we left at uh, 6 a.m. towards Tamarindo and arrived around 10, 10 uh, a.m. As soon as we arrived at the hotel, we started to swim in the swimming pool. A few hours later, we were excited, so we decided to go to the beach. We played a funny soccer game. It was a funny experience because nobody was able to kick the ball and almost everybody was tired. After the game, we watched the uh, sunset together and we told the stories about our lives and shared our points of view about the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, let's read uh, this paragraph and like um, elaborate or explain the uh, new vocabulary. 
we had been planning this trip for two weeks. Uh, during these two weeks, during these two weeks, okay, remember to put like comma because we need to complete uh, this sentence. We don't need like to put full stop instead of comma. We don't say during these two weeks, full stop. No, because the, the thought or the meaning is not completed yet. So we need to put comma in order to complete our speech. We made hotel reservation. Reservation, I will write the definition in the chat. Reservation, when you make, for example, reservation, um, a restaurant re re reservation, sorry, or hotel reservation. So you tell, you, you tell the, like, the stuff in that place that you want to go um, to uh, this place at a particular time. So you need to keep your place available, okay? So it is an arrangement. Which you make. In a place. Um, to keep it for you at a particular time. Okay, this is the definition of the word reservation. Okay, so we made hotel reservation and bought, bought it is a past of the word buy. Bought, اشترينا. Food and beverages. What does it mean, beverages? The drinks, مشروبات. Very good. So it means, when I say beverage, so it is like um, a cold or hot drink okay be very uh, for the trip finally on friday friday we left at 6 a.m 6 a.m it means in the morning um towards tamarindo and arrived around 10 a.m as soon as we arrived at the hotel please remember that we don't say um, as in Arabic, for example, we say wasalna ila, okay. But in English, it's different. We don't say, for example, arrived to, okay. We say arrived at. So the preposition harf is at. The uh, preposition used here is at. Arrived at. We don't say arrived to, okay. Uh, sometimes we, we use the preposition in. So we can say arrived in or arrived at. Uh, so it is um, depends on on the place. For example, if I'm talking about like a big um, or general place, for example, when I say uh, we arrived in Aleppo, so it, because it is bigger than the hotel. But if, you, uh, if I want to specify the place, like أخصص أحدد, specify the place, so I use at. So it is, for example, arrived at the mall, arrived at the hotel, arrived at the market, for example, because it is um, a specific place. So we can say arrived in for like larger space or large, larger uh, place. Or if I want to, to talk about specific place, so I use at. We don't use to at all. Don't say we arrived to because it is uh, the effect of Arabic language. In Arabic, we say wasaltu ila, but in English, we don't say arrived to. Okay? So as soon as we arrived at the hotel, we started to swim in the swimming pool. A few hours later, we were excited, so we decided, decided to go to the beach. Uh, please notice that we 
all the verbs uh, used here in this paragraph or in this essay, um, all of them are in the past tense because we are telling the reader about something that happened in the past. Okay. We played a funny soccer game. What does it mean, soccer? Football. Very good. So it is football. Football in British English. And in American, we say soccer. Okay, so it is the same. But in American, we say soccer. In British, we say football. It was a funny experience because nobody was able to kick the ball and almost everybody was tired what does it mean to kick to kick this word hit hit using your hands or feet mm. to hit something using your hand or your feet Using uh, my feet, my feet. Very good. So it is to hit something using your foot. Okay, I wrote the definition, the that part. So it is in in Arabic we say yashut. Okay, or yarkul, yar yarkul in in the formal language. And almost um everybody was tired. After the game. We watched the sunset. What does it mean, sunset? When the sun... Yes, when the sun... Yes, very good. So when, when the sun disappears, okay, when the sun um, disappears and night begins. The opposite of uh, sunrise. <laughs> Very good. The opposite of it is sunrise. Very good. Um, watch the sunset together and we told stories about our lives and shared our point of view about the future. Okay, so you uh, notice that every, like every um, verb is used in the past tense. For example, watched, uh, watched, told, and shared. Okay, was, was, okay, played, for example, decided. So all the verbs used in the past tense. Do you have any example, uh, sorry, do you have any questions uh, about this paragraph? Or do you have any, like, new vocab you need me to, to explain it? Mrs. What's the what uh, the uh, difference between hit and kick? What's the difference between hit and kick? When you hit something, so you uh, touch something uh, hard, okay, and um, it is not necessary to to kick it. When you kick some something, you use your foot in order to hit it, okay. Hit something, you maybe you will hit it using your hands. So you touch something hard. You touch something quickly. Okay? But kick is when you hit something with your foot. But you can hit something you, using your hands, for example. Is it clear? Yani the verb Yes, kick, yes, yes. The, the verb uh, kick is just using your foot. Okay. Uh, do you have any other questions? Okay, so let's uh, move to body paragraph number two. Who can read, please? Yes. Yes, go ahead. Then we returned to the hotel and we and we ate some snakes. Moreover, we swam in the pool until uh, it got late. 
around uh, 12 p.m. We decide to play some games where uh, no the loser... around around 12 p.m. Um, this phrase is related to the following one because we have comma right. So we say yeah. around 12 p.m. We decided. So it is related to the next sentence, not to the previous one. Okay, because we have what? Comma. So it is related to the next sentence. We need to say it like this. Around 12 p.m., we decided to play some games. Okay, etc. So it is related to the next sentence. Yes, Can we you decided say it again? to play. Around can, 12 can you, p.m. Yes, can you start around from around? 12, yes. yes. Around 12 p.m., we decided to play some games where the loser ha had to take some sh uh, shots. Very good. A lot of, a lot of time, I was uh, the loser, and uh, therefore I didn't remember what else happened during the crazy night. The next morning, we took a bicycle ride to some close beach. I remembered, I remember uh, vividly the, re, uh, the ride to uh, Conkel, Conkel Beach since I, uh, it was uh, uh, so, Conchal, so Conchal Beach. Conchal, Conchal Beach since I, wa I was, I was so pretty for that reason. For that reason, we decided to stay there uh, the rest of the day and enjoy the breathtaking views of this uh, paradise beach. Okay, thank you so much. Um, then we returned to the hotel, returned like we went back. Okay, because it is in the past. Returned, it means like went back. Odna, we went back. And we ate, please um, focus on this uh, pronunciation uh, in the present we say it eat in the present but in the past it's pronounced as eight you know the number eight it is the same pronunciation okay eight as akala and eight as okay the same pronunciation نفس اللفظ so we ate some snacks. What does it mean, snack? Small meal. Very good. It's a small, small meal. meal. A small meal. Very good. Uh, moreover, what does it mean, moreover? However. Moreover. There, therefore. No. It's, uh, mm, it's no, different no. from therefore. Therefore, it's like so. Whatever, it, it means like when you want to introduce information or add another information. Okay, it, uh, it is similar to an addition. Okay. So when you want to add information or similar information, you can say moreover, بالإضافتي إلى ذلك. We have um, a similar word. Do you know the similar word? Furthermore. Furthermore. Very, very good. Furthermore. Furthermore. Is furthermore. Very good. I wrote in the chat bar. So furthermore, the same as moreover. Okay, uh, but please uh, notice its uh, usage. How can we use it using, for example, the punctuation marks? So we start the sentence with it, with capital letter, and we need to put after it comma, moreover, or furthermore, comma. Okay, the same, the same use. Uh, we swam, swam, it is the past of the verb swim. We swam in the pool until it got late. Uh, around 12 p.m., 
what does it mean 12 p.m.? يعني, when is the time? What is the time 12 p.m.? It is uh, in the night or in the day? Zuhran, noon. Yes, very good. So it at noon or it is during the day. Hilal and Nahar. So it is 12 p.m. at noon. Uh, we decided to play some games where the loser um had to had to the boss of the verb have to. Yani tawajjab alayhi to take some shots. Um can you guess the meaning of uh, the word shots here? Punishment, punishment. Oh, no. Actually, the word shots um, has many meanings, okay? But in this context, um, it's meaning like attempts or tries. Okay? Shots in this meaning, in this context, sorry, it means attempts or tries. I wrote it in the chat. Uh, you remember, you, you know that some games, when the loser, for example, um, for example, he loses for the first time, so he had to like take some shots. He had to repeat, for example, uh, the game in order like uh, to have uh, a chance uh, in order, for, for example, to success in this game. Okay, so to take some shots, it means like attempts or tries, like to have some tries يعني عدة محاولات uh, we punish uh, the loser in our matches uh, in running around the playground Run, running what, uh, what is around this, the uh, stadium or playground what is this type of sport is it football football mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, in this Lente. paragraph, they are not specifying Lodar, the type uh, of... Running around the ground. That's the, the same meaning or different? And no, I think you are talking about like punishment. Right? But uh, this is like to take some shots to, uh, for example, if you want, if, if you are playing, for example, a game and, um, and you are a loser, and we need to give you like uh, another opportunity or another chance in order to success in this game. So we have to give you some shots, like some tries. You need to uh, uh, retry again. Okay, so this is not punishment. It is like help for you, right? Uh, Mrs. Uh, what does it mean, loser? Okay, who can who can answer here? What does it mean, loser? In Arabic, خاسر. Or feeler, feeler. Very good. It's, it's failure. It's the opposite of the word winner. Okay, winner as rabih and failure as خاسر and loser. Failure and lo loser the same meaning. Okay, a lot of times I was the loser and therefore, therefore it's like so. I didn't remember what else happened during that crazy night. The next morning we took a bicycle ride to some close beaches. Um, I remember vividly. What does it mean vividly? Clear. Well, very good. So I remember clearly, okay, because clearly. it is an adverb. Because it is an adverb. 
So I remember clearly the ride and the memories that I have in my head. Okay, so vividly it means like clearly or uh, very much. Okay, so I remember totally the memories. When I say I vividly remember, it means that I clearly remember, I totally remember. Uh, the ride to Conchal Beach, since it was so pretty. What does it mean, pretty? Beautiful or attractive? Beautiful. Very good. It is beautiful or nice or attractive. For that reason, we decided to stay there the rest of the day and enjoy the breathtaking views of this paradise beach. What does it mean, breathtaking? Exciting. Mm -hmm. Very good. Breathtaking, it means like exciting or attractive or impressive. Okay, when you have some view, for example, or something which is breathtaking, so it is very, very attractive or impressive or beautiful or exciting, okay? Uh, because it is very beautiful, so it is breathtaking. Okay, which, which is like khalab, muzhil, akhaz. Um, views of this paradise beach. Uh, what does it mean, paradise? Paradise, a jenny. Okay, but here it doesn't mean like a jenny because here we are using this word in order to describe the very beautiful place. Okay, because uh, the beach is very, very beautiful and enjoyable and pleasant place. It is very attractive. So I described this place as it is a, pro a product, paradise. Okay. Okay, let's read the conclusion. Who can read it? Or before reading the conclusion, do you have any question related to um, body paragraph number two? Okay, let's read the, the conclusion. Who can read it? Yes, miss. Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, after uh, this exhausting drive to uh, Conchal, we returned to our hotel. Uh, the next day, every early, we returned. Uh, return, return. We, we returned. Return. Re we returned. Okay, don't pronounce E, just D. Returned. Re uh, returned. I'm doing E. Returned. Yes. Returned. Uh, uh, to San Jose, uh, that uh, was my first and uh, unforgettable, unforgettable, and forgettable. Uh, my, uh, on uh, unforgettable tribe with my friends. Not tribe, trip. Trip. Uh. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, after this exhausting trip to Conchal, we returned to our hotel. What does it mean, exhausting? Tired, very, very tired. Oh, no. Exciting. No, it's Exciting. not tired. Sorry? Exciting. Exciting trip. Exciting? Interesting trip. No, no. It's totally the different, the different meaning. Exhausting, it is something that you make you feel tired. Okay? It is tiring. Sorry? 
استنزاف not, not tired no no it's not tired tired when you feel tired as a human you feel tired but you don't feel exhausting because exhausting is the thing that you that make you feel tired it is like murhiq not murhaq you know the difference يعني ما بتجي بمعنى الرحلة الحماسية أو ال... No, 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 exactly the opposite It's opposite from the word exciting No, it's something different It makes you feel tired تساوي over route Sorry تساوي over route Over route We we have yes. over overwhelming, not overwrote. I I don't know the word that you are talking about. Can you spell it? We have overwhelmed. Yes. Over o o v e r w r o u uh, g h t. Over Can you write it in the chat? Can you write it in the chat? Um, no, overwrote, it's something, or it's uh, like a person when he feel, feels, for example, upset or worried or nervous. Okay, it is um, Mrs. Mrs. different. Brown. It's different word. Overwrote, um, it's when, when a person uh, feel, for example, upset or nervous. مس برا اكسوستينج اسم اسم فاعل اما التيارد اسم مفعول ام ليت مي اكسبلينت ان انجلش اند ذن يو يو ويل سي ات ان عربي بيكوز ام فور اكزامبل وين اي سي اكسوستينج ات از ذا ثينك ذات ميكس مي فيل تايرد بت اي دونت سي فور اكزامبل اي ام اكسوستينج سبجكت سبجكت Yes, because exhausting exhaust... subject. Yes, it's something like different in Arabic, uh, just in harakat. In Arabic, we say murhiq and murhaq. And the meaning is very different. Like murhiq, the thing that make you feel tired, which is exhausting with ing or tiring. But when you want to say that I am murhaq, so you can say I am tired. Or exhausted with ED. Okay, please don't forget this idea because it is very important. When you want to describe you as a human, human like insane, so describe yourself with ED, like exhausted, tired, for example, I am bored, for example, and I'm and I'm a I don't say I am boring. Boring because it is something mumil with ing. Um, it is like um, usually describes the thing, not the human. When I say the film was boring, it means the film كان mumil. But I was bored. لكن أنا كنت ملاني. Okay, so it is the same when I say exhausting. And exhausted, exhausting, murhiq. So the the trip was exhausting. رحلة كانت مرهقة مرهقة. But if I want to to say that I was murhaq, so I say I was exhausted. It means that I was tired. Is it clear? Doesn't make sense to you?
is it clear the difference between exhausting and exhausted? واضحة واضحة استاذ واضحة تماما. Okay, thank you. So we returned to our hotel the next day. Very early, we returned to San Jose. That was my first and unforgettable trip with my friends. Unforgettable, the thing that you cannot forget it because it affects you. Okay? Unforgettable, uh, you can't forget it. Okay, يوم لا ينسى أو الرحلة لا تنسى. Okay, because we are running out of the time. Um, do you have any question concerning this essay? Or can you tell me before uh, the time is over? Can you tell me which type of this, which type this essay is? Is it narrative, descriptive, expository? What do you think? Narrative, narrative essay. Because uh, the writer is telling us a story, right? Yes, yes, you are totally 100% right. So it is narrative because it is a short, like a short story of the writer. Thank you so much. مسز مسز ممكن نعتبرها ممكن نعتبرها descriptive ولا لا؟ um this is very good question can we can consider it descriptive if we are describing like the place if you for example face any like a clause or sentence that is describing the place so it can be both as descriptive and narrative okay It can be like descriptive because we are describing that day, but it is more uh, narrative because it is um, telling us a story. Okay, so it is narrative more than descriptive. Okay, I think the time is up. Um, uh, thank you so much for your attendance. See you, inshallah, next lecture. Um, if you have any question about the